Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So as I have promised in my previous video that I will be coming up with Angular series video where I will cover all the topics of Angular. Okay, so this is the first video on that, but this will be all introduction part. Like we will uh, go ahead with what is a roadmap for Angular developer, what is Angular, some history of Angular and how we can install Angular in our system and we can create our new application and run it. Okay, so this will cover all that thing in this particular video. Let me start things off with the roadmap. So here you can see I have this roadmap created. Okay, so for all the beginners out there, you know, they can follow this thing just to learn, just to become an Angular developer. So the first thing you must learn is HTML and CSS. Okay, so once you have like you have a good grip on HTML and CSS, so the second thing you should learn here is CSS framework. But I always recommend to refresher this Bootstrap and Tailwind. Okay. So once you have this, then the second thing you must learn some basics of JavaScript and ES6 features. Okay. The third thing here I would recommend to learn you guys about what is TypeScript and some OOPS concept. Okay. So here talking about the fourth thing here, we must learn some uh, project versioning. Okay. There are Git, GitLab, Bitbucket and all that. So you must have some knowledge on some that tools also. Okay. Versioning tool. And you must also know what is NPM and how you can use it. So the fifth thing here you can see is learn Angular and try to make use of all its features. The fifth thing is here. And the sixth thing, the last one is you must uh, know what is testing in Angular and how to do it. And you must create a project. So once you have all this six thing, then I can really say that you are an Angular developer. Okay. So try to like have all these things to become an Angular developer. So this was all about the developers and developer roadmap. Uh, let me start things off with the definition of Angular. Like what is Angular? Okay. So Angular is basically a JavaScript client framework, which helps to bind the HTML and model. Okay. So this is uh, when I say bind. So we can also call it as Angular is basically a binding framework, which helps to bind your HTML model. When I say HTML and model, let me show you up things here. Okay, so this is my uh, HTML. Okay, this is my view basically, and this is my model. So inside my model, I will have all my logics and everything, and, and I need to bind it with my HTML. Okay, so Angular helps us to do this particular stuff. So Angular helps in binding my view with this model. Okay, so this is why. So this is why we can definitely say that Angular is a binding framework. Or we can also call it as JavaScript client framework. Okay. So now the second thing is Angular helps to create single page application by using HTML, CSS, TypeScript, and its routing features. Okay. Which we're going to learn very soon uh, once we are uh, like proceeding with some other videos on routing. Okay. So this is what an Angular is. I hope you guys are clear here. And Let's talk about something about Angular JS because there are some people who get confused, like in what Angular JS and actually the Angular is what Angular is. Okay, so Angular JS is like it is. It was developed in back in two thousand ten. Okay, so this is basically developed by Google only, and Angular is also a product of Google. Okay, but the only difference here is Angular JS is the Angular one version. So basically, it is Angular version one. Which is a JavaScript framework to build web application. Okay, so Angular JS uses pure JavaScript. While when I talk about Angular, so Angular make use of TypeScript. Okay, to create web applications. So, so this is the main difference here, as you can see. So, if anybody asks you in the interview, then you should like answer this thing because it's very basic. Like Angular JS use JavaScript and Angular make use of TypeScript. Okay, so Angular JS is all controller based, while Angular is component based. Okay, so, so always have this thing in mind. So this makes use of controller, and this is, and here you can in Angular, you can see we have all these components created, okay, to do our development. So the fourth thing is the optimization. So optimization is very poor in Angular JS as compared to this Angular. So Angular is very well optimized, and thanks to its component-based architecture, which helps here, okay. Okay, so as I have already mentioned that Angular JS and Angular are developed by Google. Okay, so why there was a reason of like bringing Angular in the picture? Okay, so there were some new features which were released like React JS, Vue JS. Okay, 
So all this framework like begin to highlight the drawbacks of Angular JS framework. Okay. So this forced basically Google to like rewrite Angular JS to Angular version two to provide a better alternative to the web developers. So like this was the whole reason that because of which Angular JS has been rewritten to Angular two and Angular two was developed then. Okay. So now let talk. Let let us just talk about some uh, versions of Angular. Okay, and some history like when it was released and all that. So the first version which was released was Angular version two, uh, which was released in September two thousand sixteen, and currently we have the latest one which is Angular version twelve, which was released in May twenty twenty one. Okay, so we have the LTS support only till uh, version nine. Okay, so. From version eight to version two, we don't have any LTS support out there. Okay, so LTS uh, basically means long-term support. So Angular do provide support to this particular version. Okay, all this about four. Now let us talk on why one should use Angular. Okay, so Angular provides better algorithm and it provides component-based architecture, uh, which helps to optimize okay your web application. The second thing here is reusability. Okay, uh, there are like factors that you can create some reusable components and you can make use of it. So that I will definitely gonna like teach you how we can create reusable components and all that. So there is a good reason that it provides the reusability. Okay, so Angular is also uh, have some independent. They have some independent components which are like easier to like replace, maintain, and scale up. Okay, so so this is the reason it has a factor of having maintain maintainability. Okay. So Angular application runs on both, like mobile devices and also on desktop, and we can also use Angular applications on tablets as well. Okay, so it has a native support also. And the fifth thing here is the TypeScript. Okay, when I say TypeScript, so basically it was introduced uh, just to have a uh, type checking when you write code. So it helps to uh, write developer a cleaner code. Okay, and also as uh, when I was an engineer, so I have been taught object-oriented programming and all that. So every engineer out there, like, know the basics of object-oriented programming. And TypeScript really make use of it. Okay, it use object-oriented programming, and I think it it is best way to have in your like while writing code, like to use TypeScript. Okay, so these are all reason like why one should like use Angular to like create web applications. Okay. So now let's come into the second point here that which I have mentioned. Like I'm talking again and again that SPA, single page application, also called SPA. Okay. So a single page application is an app that doesn't that does not reload. Okay. It doesn't reload the page. Okay. During it uses it works within the browser. Okay. So there is no such reload happens. Uh, let me give an example here. So here I have this uh, website open, this National Geographic. Okay, so when I am just routing from uh, one page to another page, so yeah, on the top you can see there is a reload happening on the top. So when I say I am clicking means I am routing from one page to another. Suppose when I am going again to impact page, so again you can see there is a reload on the top. Okay, so because of which there is a bad user experience. So to eliminate all these things, now all the web application has been uh, like shifted to create uh, web application are targeting uh, creating website and single page application. So, because of which uh, Angular introduced this particular feature, having a you know, by using Angular, you can create single page application. So, this is a good example of a single page application. This Angular dot Angular website. When I am routing from one page to another page, on the top you can see there is no reload happening, and it is quite fast as compared to that particular application. Okay. So, this is this. This was all about uh, that. What is actually single page application is. So now you will be clear. Like, what is single page application? If you want to really see like uh, what is single page applications are, then you can visit a website like Facebook, Google Map, Gmail, Twitter, Drive. Okay, so all these are like good examples of single page application. Okay, now let's talk about some uh, features of Angular. Okay, so so on the top you can see we have this cloud platform, uh, speed and performance, productivity, and full development story. So actually I have this reference from your this website Angular.io which I was showing you. Let me show this particular features here on the top. So basically, it has like quite uh, it has many features, but some of them are like mentioned over here. So we have this cloud platform that we can create progressive web application. We can have we can build native application. We can create desktop applications. Speed is there. Speed and performance. We have productivity by using that Angular CLI. We can uh, create our boilerplate codes and all that. Okay, we have this full development story here, like testing, animation, and accessibility. Everything is there. Okay, so this was all about the features of Angular. Uh, you guys can 
you will visit this website and have a look uh, about the features okay, in detail okay so now let's talk about how to install angular and create a new project and run it okay first of all uh, for installing angular you must have node installed on your system and how you can do it it's quite simple just go to this website uh, node.js and i will recommend you guys to download this lts version okay go ahead and just download this node.js and install it in your system okay so once your node is installed then the second step what you have to do is you have to install angular in your system so how you can do it you just have to type this command npm install hyphen g at the rate angular slash cli so let me do it let me open up cmd first first check the version of node which is installed so we can just type node version so as you can see i have uh, version 14.15.0 is installed in my system so let me try to install uh, angular now so we have this command npm install hyphen g means globally at the rate angular slot cr hit enter so it will take some time to install your angular in your system so just wait till that and all right so as you can see my angular is installed now and the angular version is uh, 12.0.4 okay so now let's try to create an application now so how we can create an application we just have to type ng new and the application name uh, first app so it will ask for some like few questions so you just have to say like you would you like to have routing so just press yes and it will ask for uh, what type of css do you like to have so i will select a css okay so now it will create an application so let's wait till our application gets created. So once your application is installed successfully, what you have to do, you just have to go into your application. Okay, so you just type cd space your application name and hit enter. Okay, so once you are into your application directory, so now you can run your application. Okay, now for running your application, you need to write the command ng serve and hit enter. So once you hit this command, so it will generate all the bundles and uh, all whatever the TS file it will be, it just bundle it out into a JavaScript file. So it is just bundling everything, and once that is done, your application will be available. Okay, on localhost 4200. So it is compiling everything now. So let's just wait for it. So as you can see, my Angular application has been compiled successfully and it is available on this localhost 4200 so let's try to open this on our browser and check what we have we open here so as you can see our first app is running okay so we have created our first application successfully in this way okay so this was all about like creating your uh, first angular application and running it okay, on, the, on the browser so this was all about the today's video on like introduction of angular like we have learned today like what is angular why we are using angular difference between angular js and angular what is single page application features of angular and how we can install node and install angular in our system and how we can ever run our first first ever angular application okay so in the next video we will learn uh, about the folder structure okay so we have created the angular application this application which we have created so we will learn about the folder structures like what what things are like we are getting when once we install the angular application okay so this all will be covered in our next video so stay tuned for that and till that time bye bye and keep learning